Hey, how long are you planning on staying with our company? Huh? I'm already back home, though. No, I mean, how long are you planning on being employed here? Oh, do you mean whether I'm currently employed or not? As of now, I don't have any plans to quit. Also, I've only recently joined this company. Yeah, but our company isn't really a good fit for someone like you. I'm not saying anything bad, but it might be better for you to consider leaving sooner rather than later. What makes you say that? But your highest education is only a high school diploma, right? Yes, that's correct. Did you know that at our company, someone with only a high school diploma can't really get promoted and doesn't have much of a future? Is that so? I haven't heard that before. I'm serious. Didn't you look at the people around you and think nothing of it? Are you talking about educational background? Yes. Everyone else at our company has a higher level of education than you do. I'm one of them, too. I graduated from a prestigious private university. Oh, I see. To be honest, someone with only a high school diploma like you is out of place here. You're not suitable for our company. Even if you say that... If you don't want to feel miserable anymore, you should quietly transfer to a low-paying, low-level job that is more appropriate for your qualifications. If you stay here, a bright future won't come your way. I've just started working for this company, so I'm not thinking about changing jobs. I came here because I want to achieve results at this company. I'm sorry, but I have no intention of changing jobs. What? Someone with only a high school diploma like you talking big? Don't you realize that you're not qualified for a higher level position? I wouldn't say I'm aware or have ever thought of myself that way. Seriously? You're so delusional. I would think it's daunting to join a company where all the employees are highly educated, elite professionals like me. Is that so? I never really thought about it that way. While education might be important, I believe that results matter the most in the workplace. There it is. Someone with an education complex always say things like that. Don't you understand that someone with a low-level education cannot produce results in their work? I don't think that's necessarily true. On the contrary, there are many highly educated people who can't produce results. There's no way a highly educated person could be such a failure. You, as a low-educated person, are a burden to the company. In other words, you're just causing trouble by existing. Do you understand? I think that's just your own opinion, Marla. No, everyone else thinks the same way, too. That's why our company only hires highly educated people every year. So, why was someone like you, a worthless, low-level woman, able to join the company? Aren't you actually unqualified to work here? I was hired properly, you know. Please don't say things like that. Really? I'm not so sure. There hasn't been anyone with such a low level of education like you before. You do know it's a crime to work for a company without being hired, right? Even someone with a low level of education should understand that. That's why I was properly hired and joined the company. Please stop insulting me like this already. It's because you have a low level of education. If you didn't want to be insulted, you should have gone to college. Oh, wait. That's right. You couldn't afford college because you grew up poor, huh? No, that's not it. I just wanted to start working and contribute to society as soon as possible. That kind of person doesn't exist, right? You probably didn't have the brains to go to college anyway. Ugh, it's tiring to talk to someone with such a low level of education. For now, you should just leave our company and go to another one. A few days later... Hey, what do you think you're doing trying to show off? I'm sorry, I don't understand. What are you referring to? I've heard that you've been achieving good sales results lately, and it's becoming a topic of discussion within the company. Thank you very much. I'm glad I was able to produce some good results with your support. Don't get too cocky. How can someone with such a low level of education achieve good results? I don't see why not. 
What do you mean? You're trying to stand out even though you have a low level of education. I'm not convinced you're the best salesperson in the business. Well, I don't care what you say. The results speak for themselves. This is strange. There must be some kind of mistake. You tampered with your sales figures, didn't you? I wouldn't do something like that. I achieve these results through my own abilities. I can't accept it. How could a high school graduate like you outperform us? This is unacceptable. Why are you so fixated on academic credentials? It's obvious, isn't it? People who have overcome the competition of entrance exams and studied at university are superior. I believe that academic credentials and job performance are two different things. Anyway, as I've said before, you don't belong in this company. So please, leave our company as soon as possible. You're just a nuisance. I don't care how much more senior you are, I won't listen to that kind of talk. I have good results, so why do I have to leave? Well, because in a company, educated people should always be above those with lower education. What's that supposed to mean? I've never heard of such a thing. That's how companies work. Therefore, misfits like you disrupt the order of the company. It will even cause misunderstandings for the new employees who will be coming in. So get out of here quickly. It's getting pretty chaotic, isn't it? I'm having a hard time understanding what my senior colleague is saying. Shut up. It's a senior's order, so just quit our company right away. I just can't quit without a valid reason, can I? It would be a different story if I caused any misconduct or damage to the company, but I'm contributing to our sales, you know. Be quiet. Well, at this point, we have to exclude you from our company no matter what. Huh? Why do I have to go through this? We don't need people with low education in our company. And you, Aaron, are so cheeky and irritating, but I want to kick you out. Isn't that entirely your personal feelings? Can you please not say that you're going to kick me out for such reasons? I'm a woman who always sees things through once I've made up my mind. Just wait and see. I will definitely get you out of this company. A few weeks later... Hey, hey, I finally came up with a great idea during my vacation. Welcome back. You took quite a long paid leave, didn't you? Did you go overseas or something? I'm not going to tell you that. I'm talking about my great idea. Uh-huh. So what's this great idea of yours? I've never really believed that you were capable of achieving good sales performance, but while I was on vacation, I had an idea. It's that you only got your good results by sleeping with the clients. I thought I'd spread this rumor throughout the company. Please stop it. I have never engaged in any kind of sexual favors to achieve good sales performance. Don't lie. There's no way a low-educated person like you could achieve good results without sleeping with clients, right? So I'm close with the sales manager? I'll report this to him as soon as I'm back at the office tomorrow. You'll probably be transferred to a subsidiary, won't you? Or maybe you'll even get fired if things go wrong. I see. So you'll report it to me tomorrow, right? Well, what are you talking about? I said I'd report it to the sales manager. Can't you even read simple words since you only have a high school diploma? You may not know the internal situation since you've been on a long vacation. I'm actually the current sales manager. What? What do you mean? I was promoted to the sales manager position while you were on vacation. Wait, wait a minute. I can't believe it. It's true. Haven't you seen the internal email announcement yet? It's true? You're the new sales manager starting this month? Why did someone who just joined the company become the sales department manager? Actually, I was headhunted from my previous company to come work here. Huh? Headhunted? I had a relationship with the sales manager and the president from my previous company, and they asked me to join them. Why would they want someone like you who only has a high school education? Are you still hung up on that? It's no wonder the previous sales director was struggling. What are you talking about? Before I was headhunted, the sales director told me that the company had a lot of highly educated employees, but they weren't achieving good results. 
That's why they approached me, as I was the top salesperson in my previous company. Huh. You were the top salesperson at your previous company, too? Yes, it seems that sales is my forte. Anyway, now that I've become the head of the sales department, I'll be in a position to lead my subordinates, including you, Marla. Well, since I'm going to be your boss, you don't have to call me senior. You're my boss? The president's policy is to consider demoting employees who show no improvement in performance. So I'll have no hesitation in demoting those who don't perform well. Marla, you've been in the sales department for a while now without achieving any results. So you're currently the top candidate for demotion. Good luck. Wait, please don't demote me. The place where I'll be demoted to is well known for being a super busy place. Apparently so, but sometimes you need to work in a challenging environment to grow as a person. If you want to avoid being demoted, then please, show some results. Sales is all about results, after all. Okay, I understand. I'll produce results, so please spare me from being demoted. Please show us results, not just empty words. I don't bring personal emotions into work. Okay, I got it. I'll be the top performer next month. So please, don't demote me. Afterwards. After that, Marla worked hard on her job, but she had never really put in the effort into sales before, so her sales performance did not improve at all, and she was eventually transferred to a subsidiary. It turned out that the subsidiary had the rumored tough workload, and Marla could not keep up with it and eventually quit her job. Due to the demanding workload, Marla's physical and mental health suffered greatly. She was unable to find another job and ended up returning to her family's home, living a reclusive life. The next story is about a new employee who constantly talks down to me, a middle-aged regular employee, and brags about her wealthy fiancé. Hey Luna, why didn't you come to work today? I told you we had a meeting coming up and you needed to be here, didn't I? Answer me. Don't be so angry with me. Besides, the notifications are too loud. I was sleeping so comfortably, and then you had to wake me up like that? It really put me in a bad mood. You were sleeping again? You took time off for that reason before. There's nothing I can do. I was so tired. I can't fight the urge to sleep. This isn't a laughing matter. What are you even here at work for? By the way, you lied and passed off the work I asked you to do to Emery, right? If Emery hadn't come to check on the work, I wouldn't have noticed it. Emery really did something unnecessary. Now I have to work under surveillance because someone reported me, and because of that, I had to cancel the drinking party I was planning to go to. It's the worst! That's what I should be saying. Isn't it bad to push your own work onto others? and you even use my name without permission. I just borrowed your name for a moment. But Emery seemed to have some free time, you know. If they have time, it's okay to ask them to do my work a little bit, don't you think? Emery didn't have free time. They just finished their own work. The amount of work they'd been doing until then was much greater than the amount of work you, a new employee, had been doing. Please stop lecturing me. It's a mess and it makes me feel bad. I don't want to lecture you either, but it's not like I have a choice. I feel the same way you do, annoyed and frustrated. But it's all because of you. How many times have you had conflicts with people at work since you joined the company? Um, about three times. More than 30 times. And most of the time it's because you ignored my instructions and acted on your own. I feel responsible for what happened. If you don't like being lectured, then at least follow what I, your senior colleague, says. Um, I'd rather not do that. Why do I have to listen to what a regular employee like you says at your age? You must be really incompetent to still be a regular employee at your age. You've been talking like you're so great, but aren't you full of problems yourself? I don't want to hear what someone like you has to say. At least I can do my job better than a newcomer who doesn't do any work at all. Or are you trying to insult me with that? No, 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 you're overthinking it. And Ava, you are not married, are you? What's that got to do with anything? Well, I've always been focused on my work, so I don't see myself getting married anytime soon. If that's the case, then I don't want to listen to you even more. What does that mean? I actually have a boyfriend now, and we're thinking about getting married. 
But if I listen to someone like you, who's bad at both work and love, I'll end up the same way. You may not be serious about work regardless of your love life. And if you don't like being told that, what about from the department head? He said if any more problems arise, we'll have to take appropriate action. Huh? That sounds troubling. If you understand, then you should do what you need to do properly. A very important meeting is coming up next week, so please work diligently, okay? Depending on your actions during that time, the department head may reconsider things. Okay. On the day of the meeting... Luna, are you ready? Did you manage to wake up properly today? There's no excuse for oversleeping this time. Huh? Please stop contacting me like this. I'm not a child. I can handle things on my own. I couldn't trust you. That's why I contacted you. This meeting is really important, so make sure you come, okay? It will cause trouble for other employees if you don't. Yeah, yeah. I understand. I'm really counting on you. A few hours later... Where are you now, Luna? The meeting is about to start. Why aren't you here yet? Answer me. Oh, sorry. I'm still at home because I don't feel like going to work. What nonsense are you talking about? You're the one who has the important materials for the meeting, right? Today there will be many important people from our business partners attending the meeting, so it's crucial that we do a proper presentation in PR. Hurry up and bring them to the office. I really wanted to do all those things, but I just woke up and haven't prepared for work at all. My hair's a mess, I couldn't do my makeup properly, and my clothes aren't even ironed, so I can't go out like this. And I lost the important documents we need for the meeting. You lost them? Why did that happen? You were the one who volunteered to take care of the important documents, right? You said you would take responsibility for managing them when we hesitated. What was that all about? But if I didn't take that role, I would have been left out of everything. I didn't like that, so I took the easy task. But now, with the work for the meeting being so hectic, it's become a burden to manage the documents. I'm sorry, I messed up. It's not just I messed up, this is something absolutely necessary for today's meeting. Are you trying to ruin everything by being selfish? Find it right now and bring it here. Uh, no. I don't want to do that. It's such a hassle. I won't bring it. Absolutely not. You. How far are you going to go with your selfish behavior? Other employees are angry with you. Even the department manager was angry. I don't know what will happen in the future. Oh, then forget it. In that case, I quit the company today. Quit? Why so sudden? Remember when I explained to you before that I have a lover? Actually, that person is the son of a famous company president. We got engaged recently, so I'm going to ride the gravy train. Well, that's good news, but... Then bring the important materials to the company and take care of your resignation process while you're at it. That way, you can kill two birds with one stone, can't you? Oh, I don't want to do all that trouble. I'm one of the lucky ones who don't have time for that, unlike everyone else. Well then, if you'll excuse me. Huh? Wait, Luna. Are you really not planning to bring it? Don't mess around with me. A few days later. Hi, Ava. Long time no see. How have you been? Luna, after what you did, how can you contact me? Please don't be so angry. What happened afterwards? Did you get fired, Ava? Unfortunately for you, I didn't get fired. The client CEO was a generous person and forgave us after I explained the situation. And other employees had backup copies of the important materials. So the meeting ended successfully. Oh, that's boring. It's always better when incompetent people are not in the company. Mind your own business. Did you contact me just to say that? Oh, right. Look, I told you I got engaged to the CEO's son. We're coming to his parents' house today to say our wedding greetings. That's great, so why are you reporting that to me? I just wanted to share my happiness with someone like you who will never experience it. You can't have something like this, right? I'm fine with that. You say that, but you're curious. 
Look at this photo. It's an amazing mansion, isn't it? As expected, right? People like you, who are forever ordinary employees, will never be able to live in a place like this. Wait, isn't that my family's mansion? Huh? What are you talking about? Isn't Billy the person you're marrying? Isn't he the one with the natural permed hair and a mole by his eye? Why do you know him, Ava? Well, it's obvious. He's my younger brother, so of course I know him. What? So the mansion you were excited about is also my family's home. What? Don't say such stupid things. You're just jealous and lying because I'm trying to marry into a wealthy family, aren't you? I'm not lying. If you want, I can confirm it with my brother. If I ask him for my name, age, and appearance, we can be sure. Of course I'll ask him. I'll make you regret saying such nonsense. A few minutes later... It was true. I was asked, how do you know? Do you know her? That's why I told you. It's my family's house, too. But it's still strange. If that's the case, then you're a CEO's daughter, right? Why are you working as an ordinary employee in such an insignificant company? I'm planning to take over my father's company. The current president of the company where I work is an acquaintance of my father's. I'm learning the various know-how necessary for being a president there. There's no point in getting promoted within the company, and that's the reason why I'm just an ordinary employee. I won't be staying in that company forever, though. Isn't Billy going to inherit the company? He doesn't have much talent as a manager. He's aware of it himself, and my father says it's too much of a burden for him. So unless something extraordinary happens, Billy won't be inheriting the company. Th that's... And about marrying Billy, you should give up. What? My father has heard about the last cancellation fiasco. He's a strict man, and he would never accept someone who caused such problems as his son's wife. Billy is a serious boy, and when he finds out what you've done, he will certainly call off the engagement. I'm sorry for your loss. You're lying. I don't want to break off the engagement. I finally have the chance to become the wife of the CEO's son. Ava, please, persuade your father and Billy for me. I don't want to. Why not? Even though we used to be colleagues and I'm your cute junior colleague who's now pleading with you. Just because you're a cute junior colleague doesn't mean I won't criticize you if you're being foolish. And that's... that's... I didn't know you were a CEO's daughter. Does that mean I can make fun of you all I want as long as you're not the boss's daughter? That's not... On the contrary, what makes you think you can get them to cooperate with you after you made such a fool of yourself? I would never want you to be my sister. Billy would be unhappy if he married someone like you. I won't support you, no matter what. Th that's not... I'm going to talk to my parents now. What should I do? Afterwards. After receiving a call from me, my father explained to Billy about Luna's last-minute cancellation incident. Luna turned pale when she heard this, and my brother looked visibly uncomfortable. My father then bluntly stated, I don't want a woman as unreliable as her to become my daughter-in-law. Billy agreed with him, and the engagement was called off. Afterwards, Luna, who had missed the chance to marry my brother, reportedly returned to work in a hurry as she had no financial assets. However, she apparently backed out of her job and left a bad impression on the company, causing human resources to dismiss her. It's unclear whether the cancellation of the job interview was due to rumors of her cancellation fiasco or her attitude during interviews, but she apparently failed most of her interviews with other companies. The last rumor about Luna was that she started working at night, and no one knows what happened to her after that. Thank you for watching.